Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. I'm joined by number one daughter and we're going to do a little bit of maintenance. This is a Jabo RW4, I think, or PP4 it's known Jabo. as something. And basically this has lived in my big display tank since I've had it, which was about 18 months now, and it stopped working. So we need to fix it and there's no immediately obvious way of doing any maintenance on this so often with wave makers of this time you just kind of pop off the cap pull out the impeller you give it a clean but it's not immediately obvious how we do this but it is really simple so i thought i'd make a quick video and show you that even a seven year old can do it so we'll hand over to my glamorous assistant mm -hmm. so the first job is you need to look at the sides here and you'll notice this is on a bit of a swivelly bit. Don't focus on us, focus on that. And these bits here, you see these bits? They just yeah. kind of bend out. So I'll bend them and you pull them. Just pull. There you go. So then we get that out and that's the bit of the magnet. And this is the thingy. So, if you haven't seen these before, what these do is, this goes on the outside of the tank, and then that goes on the inside of the tank, and they connect together. So, after that, on the bits where you took it off, you'll have these little rubber gaskety bits. You take them off from each side. And what these do is, they basically stop it vibrating, because this is spinning around really fast, and stops it making a noise. So that's usually where you get to and you wonder, okay, how do I get in there? There's no, it doesn't tell, you just bash it on something, no, who knows. Mm. But what you actually have to do is, you grab it and you twist it. And then those parts come apart. And then it should just be a case of pulling out and then what you're left is the front bit with the ceramic shaft attached. And then the back bit. And then this the bit just pulls out simply mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And you've got, that's your impeller, so that's the blade that spins around, and this is a magnet, and the motor's in here. You can't easily get into this bit, so you're kind of stuck with it, but generally what happens is, it's this bit here that the dirt or algae, or whatever it might be, will get into that and stop it spinning freely. So if it doesn't spin freely, or even if it does, it's still worth giving it a good clean. Just so get your own little cotton bud, like so. Get it wet. And then just basically, very carefully, with not too much pressure. No, I dropped it! <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, you can use this one. So you just rub it up and down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right, you do that and I'll fish out the cotton bud you dropped. And then do the same in here, just give it a quick swizz around. Oh, can I do that one? Um, oh, that one's better. And yeah, you will notice that you might get off little clumps. I like yep. to do this every two or three months, but obviously I've left it a bit too long with this one because it stopped working altogether. This could of course be completely unrelated and that's another reason Daddy, that it's not working. Inside it. it's no, you're doing good. But with all repairs, I like to just give everything a good clean first and a bit of a maintenance and make sure it's all working okay. I like to wash it really good, but well, then it might go back. Yeah. Mold. Let's have a look then. Right, this one's molding. So, that's clean. This is not clean. You put in the impeller, it spins pretty freely now. I think we're good to go now. I'll have that bit. Okay, if you want to. Yeah. And it goes back in the opposite way. Yeah, it does. Um, it makes a little clicking noise, like and so. We need to put and then you just on. twist it back together. Good. Take the rubber grommets. I'm just cleaning this one. Thank you. Wait, why is this so dirty? Because I've been cleaning it. And then pop it back into the holder. And that's it, back together. So, as you can see... They're really dirty. Now the moment of truth, Does so if you've seen the JB4 before it comes with this little controller like this where you can change modes, mm -hmm. oh, hold it the right way around even. Yeah, you need to do that or then it'll do something. 
what we've got is various modes and fan speeds. Um, I like to have it on W2, which is like a wave where it goes like rather this than one. constant. This one goes up and down, and makes the plan go up and down. <laughs> so this bit was obviously getting power, but this bit isn't moving. So now you hold this. Okay. It, don't get scared if it turns on. Right, not near your face, because if it turns on, I don't want it chopping bits off. How does so, it chop? the moment of truth, we're going to plug it back in. Ready? Yeah. It's not very fast. It's not very fast, no. But it actually is pretty fast. So, it's on the wave function, so that's why it's going faster and slower and faster and slower. So, that's it. Just a little introduction to the GA ball. There's the RW, SW, 4, 8, all different manners. You're not meant to run it when it's not in the water, so don't do that too long. Um, but just in terms of features, you've got um, a mode button, you see that, a speed button, and a, it's called a WILE. I don't know what that stands for, but that's basically for your master and slave. So, your mode has different wave forms, so you've got a wave uh, which is a on, off, on, off, on, off. You've got a wave 2 which is more of a ramp up, ramp down. And I believe when you have two or more of these together you can have them alternating using that one. There's else, which I, I use wave 2 or else, and else is a bit more random so it'll come on for 10 seconds, off for 2 on for three, off for five, etc, etc. And then an H and a C option. I can't remember what they stand for, so let's look at the instructions. You might not really see it.